go. Okay, here's a real simplified way of installing the clear vinyl plastic film, also known as glassine, in a screen frame for a window. It could be a door, it doesn't matter. But here's a technique that I came up with that works pretty well. Fly the plastic film out on your screen, like I've done here, and overlap the spline channel on the screen oh, about an inch. Doesn't really make a lot of difference. And uh, just line it at the bottom and the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a 45 right across the screen frame spline channel. I'm going to do that on both sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my hand so the plastic doesn't move and I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to work this film in. So it's all the way in. Then I've cut a short piece of spline. You just want to make sure that it fits down in the spline channel tightly. And you're just going to lightly press this in, and I'm going to angle the rolling tool so it's like this. Not like this, but like this. And that way it goes in evenly across that film. So I'm just going to lightly set it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top of the screen. This is done for right now. I'm going to go up to the top. I'm going to cut off about an inch past that spline channel. I'm going to cut a 45 across the corner of the screen frame. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this clear film glassine from the bottom to the top. Do the same thing. I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to work each way. And that will actually stay in that spline groove. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get a piece of spline. I'm just going to lightly set this in place. And there again, I'm going to angle the tool so that it's not straight up and down. It's on like a 45 to the spline channel. And it's slowly working that in. I'm going to check and make sure things are tight with the glassine top to bottom. And it is. And then I'm going to finish off the bottom and run that spline all the way in. So then we'll go on to our next step.